This is our development in Hackney. We're about three or four weeks from completion. The site's located at the eastern border of Hackney, adjacent the Olympic site. It overlooks um, Victoria Park, and it's also bounded by the slip road to the A12 motorway. It's only recently that the site was earmarked for development, although it wasn't overly interesting to people because it had a unique shape, which meant it was difficult to put a standard house type on the site. Also the property market at the time and also the proximity against the busy road. So what we've had to do is really look into the site and see how we could maximise it, see how we could come up with something more appealing for the design from the constraints. The first constraints for the design were the layout, how to make these three houses work on this site. We elongated the plan so that we reduced outlook to the rear, but we created an atrium through the centre so that we could gain the maximum amount of light into the property without having to have a, an outlook on the rear. This also improved the acoustics for the building. We'd like to achieve a building that has got a super thermal efficiency. We've specified a quadruple glazed unit which shuts out a large amount of the noise. The the most important thing for us as designers is that we'd like the space to feel very well designed, um, very light and spacious. We want you to be able to feel a good volume of space. So as you walk through the front door, we have a triple height staircase which has a walk-on glass roof which lets in a lot of daylight. From both an aesthetic and a sustainability point of view, we try to use natural materials where possible and that's from the superstructure made from timber. We have a timber frame here right through to the finished materials where we've got a pallet of um, Douglas fir cladding outside. We've got natural oak in the interior on both the stairs and the floors, also on the kitchens, um, and also the natural slate in the bathrooms and the floors as you went into the building. The way we've used the materials and the detailing of the building has been very minimalist. The removal of the sort of certain clutter that you get with door frames and the junctions between floors have been removed to give a, a seamless and continuous um, junction between spaces. It's a fantastic space to walk into. The proportions are great and the amount of light that pours into the space is fantastic. On this project we've been given a unique role whereby we've been able to assess the development value from day one. So not only have we been commissioned to design the buildings, but we've also been managing the development as a whole from looking at the values of the site, um, the cost of finance, the budget um, for the overall project and the profit margins. And it's, in, it's been quite a successful project so far. And not normally do you get the opportunity to have a free reign on design. We've been able to be much more creative than we have in the past and make some bold decisions. The properties are currently on the market and there's a lot of interest, a lot of people excited when they come through the door. We've recently had the scaffolding removed from the exterior of the building which has really given the design an opportunity to come off the page, um, which is quite exciting for me at the moment to be able to see the design being realised. 